let's take a look at how to say what we are going to do in Spanish. And this structure allows us to talk about the future, okay? And we need three things uh, to be able to use this structure. So let's draw three circles and let's write the three things that we need. So we need an, a form of the verb ir to go. We need an a and we need an infinitive, okay? And remember that the verb ir in the present tense is conjugated as boy, vas, va, vamos, and van. And remember that uh, an infinitive can end in ar, er, or ir. And the last thing we need, we need some trigger words. And trigger words allow us to use uh, ir a infinitive. Okay, so let's write three trigger words. Uh, the first one is esta noche, tonight. Uh, the second one is mañana, tomorrow. And the third one is a phrase, and we will use la próxima semana. Okay. Now let's give some examples and um, we'll add on to our trigger words. Okay, so in the first example, esta noche, uh, let's see, what am I going to do tonight? Um, how about boy a bailar, I'm going to dance, right? So here's my disco ball, that's me, and I'm listening to some music and dancing, okay? So esta noche voy a bailar. Mañana, tomorrow, uh, maybe you are going to read the greatest novel ever, Don Quixote. Remember Don Quixote? He fought the windmills. Okay, so there's Don Quixote. Okay, so mañana vas a leer Don Quixote. And the third example, la próxima semana... Ellos van a jugar al football. So they're going to play football. What kind of football? Well, maybe American football or maybe uh, Latin American football. All right, so that's kind of our soccer ball. You get it, okay? So... Uh, when you're going to express what you're going to do in Spanish, make sure you use ir, a, and infinitive. And if you look once again at our examples down here, we have a form of ir, a, infinitive, ir, a, and infinitive, ir, a, and infinitive. And always use trigger words. Okay? Um, let me know if you have any questions. Hasta luego.